Welcome, friends, to our next Bhagavad Gita lesson. Let's settle in with a slow, deep breath. Hari Om Tatsa. Om Shanti. This is episode number 236, entitled, Will the True Sannyasi Please Stand Up? And we moved on now to the sixth chapter, the yoga meditation. It goes, the blessed Lord said, if you carry out your duties without seeking the fruits for yourself, you are a true sannyasin and a yogi, unlike those who have abandoned fire and activity. Sri Krishna starts off the sixth chapter, the yoga of meditation, with what may seem like an unrelated topic. Throughout the Gita, he continually seeks to reconcile two seemingly opposite spiritual directions, the contemplative and those who are leading active lives in the world. Dispassion toward the world and serving the world. The yani and the karma yogi. The sannyasin, the monk, and the householder. Whatever path we tread, the technique described in this chapter is the common link that pulls the soul in the direction of the source. Whether we withdraw from the world or engage in it, meditation is going to be necessary for our spiritual progress. And whether we're a sannyasin or a karma yogi, letting go of the ego's need for the fruits of the action is necessary to make progress in meditation. Arjuna's hope is that he could escape from this battlefield and live a life of a sannyasin. His picture of this renunciate life is putting on an orange robe, taking the title of Swami, living on alms, being involved with the world as little as, little as possible, and studying Vedanta. Krishna paints a very different picture. Sannyasa doesn't mean the self renouncing things. Sannyasa is the renunciation of the self. And renouncing karma does not mean being free from activity, it means being free in activity. Krishna is breaking down the artificial man made distinctions between the renunciate and the karma yogi. Father uh, B.D. Griffith an English-born priest who spent most of his life in India, he understood this really well. I'll read you what he said. A Hindu sannyasin is not supposed to perform any ritual. He is not a priest. The priesthood is, specific, is a specific, specific service to the community, and the monk has no such particular ministry or work to do. In the sannyasa initiation, the monk undergoes a funeral ceremony. He is free from all bondage of the social order. This led to the idea that the sannyasi is beyond work. The Gita, however, teaches that he should do his work, but he should do it without attachment, not seeking any reward and offering all he does as a sacrifice. Then he is a true sannyasi. For a reflection, while withdrawing from social media and turning off our cell phones once in a while will certainly benefit our, our mental health, rather than pulling away from the world, being steady in our meditation and being of service to the world without attachment to the result will bring us further down the spiritual path. Thanks for joining. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.